Hi guys, today you join me in another TS review. Today we're taking a look at the English Electric 3B battery shunt locomotive that comes with a return to Mardi DLC from Steam. Right, this is a really special little loco because it's not often you get such a well-made, detailed, rare loco in Train Simulator. So the first thing to note is the model is impeccable. I mean, and the very these these are all the variations you get. So you get it in British Railways early crest, which is awesome. You get it in British Railways late crest, which is what we're driving over there. CGB. Uh, you can choose how many people are in it. So in this case, you've got two. In this case, you've got one. And then you've got CGB Bolton. This is really cool because the actual one you get is from Mardi Colliery. So it says registered by the Great Western Railway, which is really cool. And it's 1945. And then you get number one in this one, which is another one. I think this is Bolton as well, but it's just a different one. This is just the red one. This is Spondon CGB, and it's number four. That's just so cool. These liveries are so, so cool. And you just get this plain kind of bluey green one, and then you get NCB green, which looks pretty cool. So let's get into the loco. There's actually variations throughout them that aren't as noticed. So in this one, you can see this got two headlights there. This one's got the top headlight there. Uh, some of them don't have headlight at all. Although to find one is quite complicated. Look, this one hasn't got a headlight at all anywhere. Uh, I swear some of the CGB ones didn't have a headlight. No. Oh, they have it there. They have them on the sides, except for the British Railways version, which doesn't have it anywhere. So that's really cool. So this is E3B. And this is one of the original electric locos to run British Railways. Um, so cool. English Electric Preston. And then it's built in London. You can see that there in 1944, this one. Uh, by Dick Kerr Works in... Okay, make... Oh, okay. So it's the English Electric Company Limited based in London. But this is number blah, blah, built in 1944 by Dick Kerr Works in Preston. Which is so cool. So the modelling is... To, put, to say spectacular would be putting it short. I'm just looking at the amount of detail. Right, in the cab nothing else of different actually if i go outside you can actually see i'm not actually in the cab at this minute so i can move outside but you can see all the controls move which is i don't really want to do too many um let's see if i do the cab light i don't know what oh yeah right so we have opening windows opening doors with opening windows on them i think no but nonetheless, it's super cool. Then we've got all these lamps down here. We've got sanders. And then I've got to figure out what those two are in a minute. So the first thing we want to do before we start this thing up is close the main breaker for the battery and the auxiliary breaker. So now we've got voltage and we can get amps. So we'll put in the key. Good. So we're sorted. Um, let's get the... You can actually do like that and then do them on the back as well I think you can do control yeah you can do control one draw shift one was it just shift one there yeah, is control shift one when you've already got it out so you can have tails and heads which is cool there you go and then the really cool ones which are these which are the top ones which have got a really nice shine to them which are the ones that I use so uh, we're ready. As easy as that. So let's close the door. Release to half an hour releasing brake. All this is purely mechanical. No train brakes, no nothing. Carry on going. There we go. Right, so let's get to forwards. As you can see, ultra detail. Let me just uh, show you that again. Pull that out. As you said, tow controller. English, I mean, the texturing's a bit low, but it's just from a distance, it looks so cool. So we can put in the key. Okay, and we'll put it into forwards or reverse. I think we're going forward, aren't we? Yep. Then we've got sanders. So forwards and rear sanders. And we've got a bell. Which is quite nice sounding. If you whack it really hard. It... 
makes a really loud sound. And then we've also got that button, which is a horn, an electrically operated horn on the roof, because these were deemed not safe enough by British Railways. So, because, I mean, right now you're probably thinking, that's really loud. Relative, not really loud, but it's quite loud. But the truth is, actually, when, you, when you're actually hauling loads of wagons that are really loud, that is enough. So you need... You need a horn, which is activated by pressing the little red button. There you go. So let's put this into notch one, and the amps will go up. There you go. It's quite... So we can actually overload this thing. So if I put Bit more break on if I thank you. You have to watch the no. I have to put on full service. <laughs> full service, he says, with a mechanical brake right. So actually, there, nah, only really works when you've got lots of wagons on with lots of weight. So let's uh, reverse to show you a bit of shunting. Let's get into what series one. Parallel and go the other way. Really cool, this is like her. She's got batteries for three hours and one more year. Which, as I said, you can actually see me move the handles from that side, which is really cool. Especially the power and the brake one. Uh, there you go. Not the reverser, the horn. No, the, the power one does. So going in here, or not. The thing about this one is that it takes so long to apply the hand brake, it's really annoying. Not that, it's just the hand brake is the brake. I think we'll see how much we can get this thing up to, and then we'll uh, pull back in. Not much, I think it's like 20 miles an hour. Do, doing 16 now. So this is done by mesh tools. Woohoo! Pulling forward is quite a slow one. You don't want to be doing long journeys. And you get a few views. I've got a few views. I'm actually kind of close to the green. Nice branch wheel. Nice branch wheel there. There we go. Turn that down a bit. Goes down really quickly. There we go. Now what we do is we do those two like that and we've got the rear headlight one now. 
Here we go. We could as well do this, these, if I can find them. No, doesn't want to do it. Come on. Sheesh. It does work. Why isn't it working now? I don't know. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Right, so we're pulling back into where we came from. Let me just check. Those are set. By the way, this track looks really bad at random points, but then you move away and it's so good. Just look at the detail. And it's actually like... I mean, these houses are actually really funny, aren't they? <laughs> right, let's get back to our review. It's actually really nice locally that this dude runs on, on my railway, on the Ponty Pandy railway. The horn is a bit weirdly looped, but it's still cool to have it. Woohoo! Bum bum! Brilliant. Right, so we'll open the door to get out, turn off our head, turn off the breakers, and put out the key. There we go, really cool. So we'll now just head out. So, how many points does this wonder, absolute marvel? Uh, one last check we haven't done, sorry about this. Should put in the key. Uh, cab light. From the outside, yep, get cab light from the outside, and it even comes from there, which makes it look really cool. So, we'll just there uh, turn that off. Which, actually, if I turn off the breakers, it'll come off anyway. There you go, uh, pull the key out as well. So, I hope you have enjoyed this little review. Points variation 10 out of 10. Livery is really good. Model is 10 out of 10. The sounds are 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10. The, some of the sounds are a bit annoying, but nonetheless, not annoying, because it hasn't got annoying in anything. It's just, for example, the horn. Uh, ah, of course. Uh, doesn't sound 100%. It sounds good. The bell sounds a lot better. The horn. It's electric, so we're going to have to turn it on again, but... Yeah, it's a bit weird. But yeah, I think this gets a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. This low code. DLC is actually a bit weird. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right at a further point. Yeah, but you can see that the multiple variations just, 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 just excellent. <laughs> they all appear to be very worried about what time it is. So yeah, thanks for watching this little review. 8.5 out of 10 for me for this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.